problem. Now you asked what the Bible is. Yeah, what is the Bible? It's a collection. It's an encyclopedia of 66 books that we we call today. Uh, previously, uh, were written on scrolls of various different source manuscripts, and uh, they're the inspired, infallible, inerrant word of God. How come? Every, Can you get a little bit closer to the mic, so yeah. How come every other like every ten years, when you go to the bookstore, you're gonna see different Bibles saying, "Oh, the the new version of the Bible." How come? Good question. Why are there many different versions? Yeah. Or I should I say translations? They're not really versions, because uh, the way our well, some people are just doing it because they want more money. Okay. Hey, there's a lot of crazy. It's the most popular book on the planet. It's the most sold. It's it's in the millions. Um, and so somebody is an opportunist, and they see a chance to make some money. Uh, that's one main reason I think there's so many, because we have plenty of adequate, good word-for-word -word translations. We have plenty of good paraphrase uh, translations, so we don't really need any more. But sometimes we get new translations because uh, our vocabulary changes a little bit. So, for instance, with King James, in 1611, I think it was uh, put down, they're using these and vowels and... Uh, Gird, gird up your loins. Well, what the heck does that mean? I know what it means, but we could just say in modern lingo, pull up your pants. Okay. You know? Uh, there, there's many different examples. Hearken unto me. Listen up. That's modern translation. All right, how come each religion have their own type of Bible? Because I'm Catholic, and many other religions, like you, your religion, will have a different, in each sentence, there will be a, di a different word. Meaning, if I read my Bible and I read your Bible, it's a whole different thing. But in short, uh, as far as translations are concerned, there's many different translations. We have ones in Russian. We have some in Greek. You pick your language. We have Bibles virtually in every language because that's what people understand. That doesn't mean that the uh, version is different. It doesn't mean that it's saying different things. It's just saying them in synonymous different terms so that people can understand them full, more fully. Okay? And by the way, that's one step of translation. Some people are like, oh, it's like the telephone game, you know? This person gives it, uh, lays it down, and then they give it to the next guy, and he translates it, and then he gives it to the next guy and translates it. No, no, no. False analogy. It's not at all like the telephone game, because number one, there's only one step of translation from the originals, Hebrew and Greek, to whatever respective uh, other uh, translation tongue, etc., that you want to put it into. We don't read old English, King James, King James type of language, although I can uh, do it, um, because there, there's only about a couple hundred different words that are ambiguous and I don't know what they mean. I get a dictionary and look them up. Uh, but to save all the trouble, we put it in modern English. So there's one step of translation. Number two, when you're dealing with the telephone game, um, you are not allowed to be very loud, distinct, because other people might hear you. That's one rule in the game. You're not allowed to visually see it. It's only audio transmission. You have to whisper it in the next guy's ear, and you don't get multiple chances, like if you had a text laid out before you, and you're studying this mama. That's not how the telephone game works. And so that's a false analogy that people sometimes bring up uh, to, to use and, and say that, oh, things are discombobulated, and, and, and we can't understand what the original... No, we... So, does that answer your question, sir? Oh, you, wait, stick around. I want to I show you why your religion is going to send you to hell. <laughs> Sir, this is important. Well, it's true. I don't mean to sound harsh. I just mean to be truthful. <laughs>